what you're seeing now is what we've seen throughout this pursuit. Roughly uh, 80 miles an hour or so. Should be back now. On a very now. busy freeway here on a Monday afternoon on the uh, southbound. I may, I mean, I don't know. Century. So next freeway that he's going to come up. Maybe I needed to restart freeway. Streamlabs. So I don't know. Before, uh, he was uh, over near the 105 and the 605 for a good portion of the time before making it Better? to the westbound and joining the northbound uh, 110 freeway, which uh, he has now reversed, reversed course on and is headed southbound. Yeah. 95 miles Jesus an hour. Christ, so man. Dangerous because it, the freeway's pretty busy. Uh, Over so on ABC, they're, they're still looking for him. Seriously. Them, and really they're seriously speed. still looking and, for uh, him. There's no ground units behind him. There's no patrol units behind him. So there's really nothing for Is anybody in the chat? Is this okay? What is happening is right now? Way. Do I have any viewers? <laughs> Hello? Okay, my shit disconnected and reconnected. Is everything better? Yeah, I got disconnected from the chat. That's right. Is it better? And I can see you now. South, southbound. Southbound here, south. Yeah. Okay, Stacy. Sorry, I was tripping out because I couldn't see. Nobody was chatting on my screen. <laughs> I should have looked at the actual stream. I'm looking yeah, at I'm back with you guys fucking yeah, stream labs. We, uh, are navigating the difficult uh, airspace that LAX can be at this time of the day, but we're uh, southbound on the 110 freeway at the 105, uh, just passing by El Segundo, and he's uh, in the carpool lane. Fortunately, traffic on this stretch of the freeway not as bad as what we saw there in South Los Angeles. Yeah, as far as we know, this is not a stolen car. So as long as those plates uh, actually correspond to so, the So as of right now. Would have had an opportunity by now to run the oh, chat on the stream is not updating. Yeah, you're and right. So what they'll typically do in these situations is, is send some deputies to that location. And just Fuck it, we'll just remove that for now. I don't care. People will just return to an area that is familiar to them. They'll usually just go home, they'll go to a friend's house, and they can try to take them into custody. He is fucking moving, that's right. So we got to add this stuff to the... Uh, bingo card because we got 90 plus and what was the other one san pedro yeah absolutely all the in and out of traffic that's on uh, this bingo card right like that it is very dangerous driving if you could just stick to one yeah line, i already filled that in okay what was the other one so no fly zone what we're seeing because he is really all over the place and one wrong move, and there's going to be a collision. And hopefully Gina Snow, what's up? There has been one Clear Joker. When he crashed into a number of DJ vehicles, Superman. Hannah, and welcome, Hannah. Heard about the chase, and it's been going on now for quite some time. I'd yeah, monkey, a lot of people get away. Uh, 30 to 40 minutes I mean, this guy might get away. The police called the chase off. He very well might get away. As of right now, he got away. Ah, shit, what was the timing on that last one? Does anybody know? How long was I live on the last one? Like 10 minutes? Absolutely. I don't Colleen, fucking I, know. We I lost time. We lost track of time. Here, uh, in the next few miles, so you're going to get to witness it here firsthand. But as you said, with a lot of that port traffic, there's a lot of vehicles uh, coming up ahead. And uh, he, Go he the grapevine. Yep, in a parking garage. He Hopefully he finds a motorcycle. Fuck, that would be awesome. Yeah, it looks... He did 11 minutes, okay, thank you. Actually. So I'm going to just widen out the shot here a little bit because we lost him there with the uh, overpass. Please find and him, Eliana. Him yeah, so it looks like he is, in fact, exiting. Okay. All right, so the prediction then so is yes. Did it work? Every time it gives me a little pop up He's right behind that's us. like saying something is wrong whenever I do this. He's behind us. Yeah, Monkey the the I mean Eliana's is doing a tremendous job right now. I told you the other news station that we were watching Thank before, you, they found him now, but like uh, th last time I looked, they did they didn't have him still. Yeah, he's got no ground units behind him, so he wouldn't know based off of... There is a cop police, behind him. There is a police helicopter overhead. There is a cop so behind him. Has their helicopter, and they're the ones or that maybe are I'm... This chase. And there's a CHP unit. You yeah, there is a cop. There. Okay. He was waiting at the off-ramp, so let's see if he gets behind the car. Uh, so, Harry, he is right off our nose. He just We're back. We're back. The police are on him again. They got the lights now going. Behind. There's a second one. 
so this will make it easier. Uh, Did they try to pit him? No, Stacy, they didn't do anything that I know of. He was on the freeway when I turned it on. Gina, you grew up by here? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to crash for sure. Oh, my God. What? Why call it off? Uh, because he was driving too crazy. And maybe the police helicopter lost him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's good, yeah, or lucky, both. Yeah, so dangerous. Five plus cops early. I don't know. I think it was, but I I don't know. I only saw four. That would be the watch commander. Uh, so the watch commander back at Lakewood uh, Station, since they were the original agency. Figaro and Carson and Clear Joker did too. Okay, let's do another one then. So right now we're at 16 minutes, okay? So will this last until it'll say 19 minutes on mine? He's on your side. Say 19, another. Your side. Yeah, he's on your side. 13 minutes from now? Does that make sense? No. It's got to be more than that. 23 minutes. No, wait, what? In this case, we're on surface streets. That's not their jurisdiction. This is a thirteen minutes. So they're basically the handling agency. So if they're deciding to go into surveillance mode, then that's all they're going to be able to do at this point. But there's the CCP. damn the cops. They're two really of them. Giving him much room. I think they Yo, think that's probably not smart, man. This so guy's driving so fucking crazy. Why are you right behind him? How did they get? How did they get through that intersection that he blew through like that? Yeah, Damn, this is not helping, man. The police right behind him are not helping. That would help. it obviously doesn't. So he continues to drive very recklessly. Yeah, this is bad. So at this point, uh, I think the California Highway Patrol figures that they have nothing to lose by just putting some ground units behind him. And they got nothing to lose? Are you kidding me? Not to slow down, then at least just to warn other drivers got nothing of the to danger lose. that is coming their way. But uh, we're at uh, Alpertonia Avalon here in the Carson area. Damn. Damn. Yo, slow down. What the fuck? Wow. Man, that cop came up on him, like, fast, right behind him. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely felt like they were going to go in for the pit, but as you said, not at these speeds. You can't pit somebody at 70 miles an hour. Or less, otherwise it's really not effective, and it could also not in uh, California. hurt the driver if they try to do anything any faster than that. But it looks like he's come up to okay. a little bit of traffic. Oh, he's sidewalk. He's a little off-roading here. I think sidewalk. he might be on the sidewalk okay. here. Yeah, he's up on the sidewalk. Uh, I wish that we here. could he's see uh, the this wall. better. And now he's back on the road and continuing east. Oh, there goes his rim. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, the, I just saw the hubcap go The flying. hubcap uh, gone. The hubcap went flying after that. Going up on the sidewalk is not good for the wheel. Oh, lots of traffic. Oh. oh. Gosh, yeah, he just took out that mirror. Why, man? Why? Dude, just chill out. Yeah, what are you doing? And now it's out your side. Jesus. And the cop just barreling right behind him. Like, dude, do you not see that you're not helping right now? Yeah, it's unclear how many people may be in the car. I did for a moment hear uh, talk Compton about a man now. a woman, uh, but I've been <sighs> unable to confirm that or hear it again on the scanner. But at this point, unclear how many people may be in the car or whether the driver is a man or a woman or how many people were involved in that robbery. Sometimes in these situations... Okay, so welcome. Yeah, so this guy's wanted for a robbery, robbery not an yeah, armed robbery. It's unclear if, if these people were acting alone. Jesus, how is this cop going to stay behind them? You got to chill out. As you said, there is a desperation. Yeah, this away. is extreme, I mean, man. So and ah, so many he's armed and dangerous. Sorry, I stand corrected. <laughs> and it is incredible that this driver is con able to continue going. And now it is amazing. I mean, he just smashed right through that fucking truck. It's not even car theft. No, it's something else. They they haven't specified really. Brindy, welcome. Thought he stole the car. No, they think it's his car. Well, they don't not we're not very clear on any of this, to be honest with you. 
Yeah, I can't believe... Yeah, Gina, this is, like, really, really, uh, bad, right? I mean, this is really reckless. I mean, I assume they have backed off at this point, right? Slowing this driver down in any way other than traffic. That's the only thing that's really coming in his way right now. Uh, but he tries to maneuver his way out of it. Like he's just way so he can, eager. Like, man, what? How did... Oh. The cars, get on the sidewalk, drive on the right shoulder. Chill. You name it, he's done it. Uh, just in an effort to flee from authority. Is he trying to stay on? No? Okay. I, I'm actually hearing the dispatcher talk about it now. Whether or not those units have backed, uh, have, uh, backed off already. Okay, we're going under here again. Hey, if he does, if he flips around again, be ready. So be ready, Eliana. Area, no, here he comes. Behind it. Uh, he's, uh, he's just going, going back the other way. Rush hour, or yeah, it's 518 there right, right now. There so going back, uh, 91 Bad West. time. Really all over the place, not making it easy for us. Uh, in and out of traffic on and off the freeways but now going uh, back in the direction that we came yeah he looks like he don't really don't want to go to jail yeah that could very well be the idea because you see the traffic on the eastbound side Those yeah he does need that fucking motor <laughs> call call his guy versus the westbound side where it's just where apparently in GTA the person's called Lester because I got earlier a hundred or so comments mentioning Lester. All right, he's got some space right now. And check out the new emotes. Check this out. He's ahead of us, Harry. Three streams in one day. Welcome, Quinn B. Cowboys, this is live as fuck. It's so live. Yeah, so, yeah, we're roughly in the car scenario, but if he continues... Uh, Are they going to lose him? She's yeah, so okay, far away. Main is what I'm hearing. So, yeah, so 91 at Main. Yeah, she's so, so far away. roughly the car scenario. So, let's see uh, if he goes uh, north or south here on Main. Uh, main is a major street here. Runs parallel is this an issue of the no-fly zone right now? Yeah, I don't think there's going to be... Yeah, you never yeah, know, but it doesn't look like... <laughs> yeah, this guy's min or max, Tim. Yeah, they haven't talked about spike strips. Damn, they're so far away. There's no pattern to his driving. In order for them to uh, effectively deploy a set of spike strips... I mean, really, his his driving... I mean, that was stupid, but he's gotten a little bit limited. more calm. In this case, right? I can't make rhyme or reason as, as to what this person is doing. So it makes it so difficult. It shouldn't be no fly zone. I mean, they had a no fly zone earlier. He was too close to an air airport. A spike strip. So at this point, uh, that has not been uh, talked about, and even the pit maneuver hasn't been mentioned either. And the, really, the reason behind that is just his speed. He's going just way too fast. Even though the car is the perfect size for a pit maneuver. No uh, body damage. Uh, on the driver's side, there must be. There, there is something. Like you can see, at the front of the car is fucked up. There's some real body damage on the front. Lost a hubcap. Maybe two. Maybe it never had. Oh, fuck, man. Chill. You're going to yeah, ruin so these tires, man. You can't do that. There's a cop. Yeah, yeah he's going eastbound. Uh, so the last thing we heard is that they are in surveillance mode, which is why we're not seeing any ground units behind him. Uh, but there is an airship over Yeah, that's true, clear Joseph. There's an airship from the county fire, or county uh, sheriff's department, rather, calling out the streets. So that's how we know uh, the Damn. location. And uh, now he's heading Chill east out. here on Alondra. After, uh, clearly, he's not going anywhere, moment, you know? Uh, right behind us, Harry. Driving and around like an asshole. Area. Yeah, he's your side, Harry. This one's not going to end well. It, I don't know, Creep. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. Yeah, if they know who the Whew. person is behind the wheel, as you said, they have the option of trying to establish communication with them and trying to get them to surrender. Yeah, so the front's fucked to, uh, up because you tried to smash through these two cars. One of them was a big truck. To surrender. But a lot of the time, the drivers in these pursuits they will be the ones to reach out to police and either negotiate some sort of surrender or j just make no sense, <laughs> really. Just uh, 
in an effort to get away. We've heard situations where uh, the drivers just ask the It's not to too late. To he could them. get away, of course, not to be clear. Out of, uh, an abundance of uh, caution here for the general public. They need to uh, arrest these people. So that is why, even though we're not seeing any ground units behind the car, you still have the airship overhead from the sheriff's department. They're going to continue to track the vehicle's location. And whenever the car does come to a stop... Yo, they're the really road, good, monkey. Oh, so shit. Close. Why did you stop well, like that? Sorry about that. Yeah, whenever uh, this car comes to a stop, uh, the uh, uh, sheriff's department is going to be... Damn, that car really slammed on their brakes. Eliana's actually in the helicopter guiding the camera. Uh, he's out your side. I think. Uh, it's, you, it's either she does it and someone else does the camera, or I think she does the camera. Yeah, she does. So she's talking and moving the camera. Wow. I'm sorry, Carolyn. I yeah, good brakes on that car. Fuck yeah. We, this uh, be behavior that we're seeing now is what we've seen the entire time that we've been overhead. But even before that, the pursuit had been going on now for about 15 to 20 minutes prior to us uh, arriving. But uh, this, uh, as you said, started in Lakewood. It was initially on surface streets in Lakewood with the sheriff's department. It eventually jumped on the 91 freeway. So it was on the 91, it was on the 710. Yeah, the Mr. Wiggly, I guess the that's the dream to get Eliana to talk about my stream. Area. We don't know where talk the about me. registered to, but uh, the authorities do. As long as the plate on the Ooh. car matches the actual registration, they've already been able to run it. They know uh, where the vehicle is registered to, and they can have some units go wait at that residence. Uh, until this vehicle decides to either go home or, of course, there's always the possibility that it'll uh, end in a crash before then because some of the behavior that we have seen has been absolutely... I mean, it already had one crash. ...crashed into a uh, number of parked cars. He's, he's uh, sideswiped other vehicles, but somehow... At least one. Santa Fe and Alondra in Compton. Yeah, Stacy, I've interacted with her on Twitter. I've, I've talked to her, but... Uh, I don't know if she would talk about me on TV. <laughs> Southbound here. But she is really nice. She's pretty active on Twitter. I showed her that clip of me yelling at her, and she thought it was funny. She liked it. She apologized. <laughs> I was yelling at her for fucking up the camera, and she was like, sorry about that, and she explained what happened, and I was like, come on, man. I, I didn't really, I was, I'm just kidding. You don't have to apologize. I was just frustrated. <laughs> Very dangerous driving. Lots of damage. Yeah, Stacy, she's result. pretty. And uh, really no rhyme or reason to what he's doing. I don't know that he knows what the final goal here is. I think he's just so desperate to get away. And it, it's... Senseless, I was just saying, Eliana operates this one. Even if he had just taken... Uh, I know that when Stu uh, does the boxes, thing with Fox now, he does not operate it anymore. He used to, though. When he worked for CBS, I'm pretty sure he moved the camera himself. Dangering of the public the way that he has. So many hit and runs that he has been involved in already. And continuing here, uh, really not giving up here in uh, Compton on Artesia. He's behind us, Harry. Yeah, behind us. Felt like a dick. Nah, I mean, I did link her to a video where I was yelling at her, so I already knew. <laughs> you know, I was... All right, did we lose him? Come on, Eliana. So I showed her the video and apologized to her, first of all, for yelling at her. Damn it. Are we going to do this all over again? Pardon me for just a moment. I'm just going to get the camera back on him. But he's on Artesia passing the 710. So he's near the 91 and the uh, 710 freeway on Artesia. Just as I was talking about a time, time where I was on stream and she lost the person the and I started yelling at her. This is the exact moment. This is exactly what happened. I was like, find him, Eliana. And there she did it. Nice, man. He's eastbound. Riding in the bike lane. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is actually the slowest I've ever seen him go through an intersection. He usually just yeah, he, he, it, oh. even then he also <laughs> with that car there. It's really so dangerous. All Yo, what is that car's doing a U-turn now? Is he going after him, or he was always yeah, doing a really U-turn? for a dangerous situation, and now he's going uh, northbound here, northbound Atlantic from Artesia, and maybe getting back on the freeway. Yeah, Brindy, we need her every time she does that. We yeah, need her so to be like. Yeah, this is 91 East, which he's been on before. That was the freeway, if you'll recall, that was really busy. Sorry, and snooze. He exited because he Hope everyone watching your stream is okay, doing instead, great today. He's back on the eastbound side. He is zooming for real. He's eastbound 91. Yeah, he doesn't want to wait for that slower moving traffic, so he's just going to ride the uh, right shoulder there, which always makes for a dangerous situation. Okay, we we got yes on the 30 minutes. And then you have this guy uh, driving right up to you. But here's a Cherry Avenue exit coming up. Let's see if he gets off. Or if Did he a piece fall off the car? Eastbound on the 91. If he continues eastbound, there is traffic as far as the eye can see. It likely continues all the way over towards Buena Park at this time of the afternoon. Very busy, but making it... Well, Gina, we will do another one right now. Will this last for another 14 minutes? 14 minutes is a lot of time in a pursuit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he's, uh, 14 he's minutes from the now, we'll mark the, the point where it, I've been streaming for 45 like minutes. Long Beach area, in and out of the HOV lane. He's even with the right, it's already been 32 minutes now. Traffic, uh, um, using any lane he can to get by. Yeah, the probability of a crash is so high, Clear Joker. Like I've been, it's been, it's been really high for the last thirty minutes, though. So yeah, somehow, I mean, he did get in a crash, to be fair, <laughs> more than one. But the probability of a crash that's so severe that the He's chase ends is really high. Southbound. Yeah, southbound. Uh, so, Colleen, to answer your question, right now, what I'm hearing is that they're just going to go into surveillance mode. In an effort to get him to have they not down. been in surveillance like mode? Maybe pulling into a parking lot. So this is good. Perhaps this is where he's going to ditch the car. That's really all we could hope for at this point, considering how dangerous this whole situation is. Why else would you if pull into a parking get, lot, dude? Uh, out of the vehicle, that is going to be the best thing for everyone involved. But it looks like he was just cutting through the lot. Uh, so Artesia at Downey. Yeah, Gina, the luck's got to run out at some point. There's only so he's many uh, times. Behind us, uh, Downey Avenue at Artesia, headed back towards the 91 freeway. Oh. Northbound. Yeah, I thought so too, Stacy. I thought he was going to get some food. Oh shit! Oh shit! And he may be stopping oh he may shit! The... No. Yeah, I could just make out the tail lights. Yeah, so this is the 91 freeway at Downey. I haven't seen him pop out the other side. I did see him. Yeah, he was uh, just parked under there. So we'll wait and see if he. Uh, if he pops out the other side or if he flips the U-turn like he's done before under these overpasses. This won't work. It might. Okay, there's the traffic coming out. Dude, it might. I'm listening to the airship. And there's a woman running, they're saying, under the... Yeah, they're under there. Is that them? So what I'm hearing, guys, on the scanner is is that the car is under the uh, is under the freeway, and uh, officers are trying to take them into custody. But now I'm hearing the airship thinks that this gentleman might be involved. To get the fuck out of there, man! He's on the they're phone. Describing Yes. Oh. Uh, yes, the officers are under Yo, the that's the girl who was driving the car for sure. Because they saw them come out. Right, no doubt about it. That girl was driving the was car. Running, <laughs> so they think that the woman and possibly this man that is Okay. Okay, home, split up. Go. 
Get where you're gonna go, man. Yeah, so he's uh, on the, he's on the right phone. There. Hopefully, he's getting a fucking uh, a Just motorcycle delivered. I'm hearing the airship describe. The, yeah, it's a Bonnie uh, and Clyde. You're right. Two folks are wearing to the uh, ground units, but I did hear that there was a ground unit under the overpass that saw the vehicle. Nobody's in it, so they think that these folks may have been the people that were in the car. What did you did you lose the guy already? What happened to the girl, Eliana? The sexism here. To focus on the man. Yeah, he was very nonchalant. Hey, you're right. As if he wasn't on the car. phone. So what I'm hearing is that the airship. Good call, him. young he snow. He says that he's behind a shed. So I see a shed there. There he there is. He he's just behind it. Dude. So the airship is trying to guide some of the ground units to his location. They believe that he may be the driver, which is why we're sticking with him and not the okay. one that saw her. I thought she. Well, there's a cat on that roof. Yo, if, uh, oh, that cat's in the tree. Wow. Are, uh, close to taking her cat custody. wants to know what's up. He's but, uh, investigating. The, uh, man is right behind that shed. Here's a. Cat's gonna fucking get him. Department pulling up right now, so you'll see the officers uh, draw their weapons. And That's the police cat. Custody, but he's wearing very dark clothes, so he's tough to tell. But he's just behind the shed. I did see one resident walking around. Yeah, I saw one man walking around like the side yard. Uh, but there the goes the cat again. He appears to be a, a resident of the property, but the man that cat is thinks that, that the police are there for him. There he goes. This, uh, brush area Cat's fucking that terrified. Head. Yeah, they're making call outs. He can clearly hear them. They're only a, f a few feet away from him. So what I'm hearing is the airship is still describing his location. So they're still saying that uh, he is in the brush behind the shed. So you're seeing the officers approaching now. Again, they don't believe that this man is armed, so that's a good thing. Uh, but, of course, they will still approach very carefully as they attempt to take him into custody. Well, the chase itself lasted, like, I don't know, 35 minutes. Uh, this is perfect, Harry. Thank you. Yeah. Tim, that's a good question. Where is the backup? Maybe the backup's on the girl. She went out running in the fucking street. Like, way to, way to blend in. Running across the street. There he is. He holding his phone? No. And there's the man coming out now. He's walking in the direction of the officers. He appears to be okay. fully complying. And they are taking him down for the arrest. So the driver's in custody. I'm hearing that the woman is also being detained. So both of the people who are believed to be in this vehicle and possibly guys. were involved in that robbery at the Sunglass Hut in Lakewood are now in custody. Yeah, I guess they said they got the girl, but Eliana stayed with this guy instead. They gave it a good run. They did. Did their absolute best. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. Stopping under that bridge was not that smart. Be honest. Like, that was just not that smart. You know? Like, there's a lot of things that they could have done, and that was not one of the better ones. For sunglasses, is that what they said? Yo, Stacy, is that what they said? Yeah, they don't know, Gina. How would I get away? Um, I probably, man. So, assuming that you drive crazy enough for the police to not be right behind you, you want to go to a parking garage, preferably like connected to a shopping mall. Because if you could get in the parking garage, I mean, maybe, I don't know. Is that a great idea? I don't know. There's security cameras and stuff like that. But a parking garage is a good idea. Or go, if, if it's like nighttime, you drive to the grapevines. But they'll stay behind you a lot of times if you do that. 
Yeah, give the cat a sheriff's badge. Yeah, how many yeah, pairs? She said sunglass yeah, hut? So they split up, which uh, some people who are involved in pursuits often stick together, but they decided to separate. She went west, he went east. She was running. He was yeah, you, you're you really not going to get caught but if it's uh, a stolen car, if you can really get away. Officers or deputies, rather, were trying to take the man into custody. They were chasing her as well, and uh, they had her at gunpoint. Parking garage with, with a change of clothes. I mean, that, that that's now, it. Uh, being taken into custody. I just heard the code oh, yeah, go get her. The motorcycle people get away a lot. Everyone who should be in custody. Because it's too hard to, it, like, they'll give up. Of the LA County Sheriff's Please don't usually spend a lot of time pursuing motorcycles. Uh, just under the 91 freeway. That is where they abandoned the car uh, at Downey Avenue. In terms of uh, what this is going to do to your drive here through the area, you can see that the traffic is building a little bit headed uh, northbound here on Downey because the vehicle and the police cars are still under the freeway. Did he so lose a tire? And the property that they ran into. And passenger exit. <laughs> closest to the off-ramp. For the uh, westbound side of the lost a hubcap. Freeway. But again, uh, the two people that were in that vehicle and led LA County Sheriff's deputies on a very lengthy high speed chase are now in custody. Yeah. Dude, that chase where the guys were on ATVs was ridiculous. Sorry, Harry, what was your question? It's yeah, it's no right bingo. I don't expect to get a bingo so you, ever. Okay. That was an so intense chase. Or, it was. Uh, that was a good one. Uh, that was a really good one. Sign, uh, on the south side of the freeway? Yeah, there's a McDonald's and a Motel 6 sign. You just have to hop the freeway. I mean, we got like 35, 36 minutes of like... Off -ramp. Yep, yeah, exactly. Pretty uh, intense uh, so driving. Sucks for whoever's in that house. Well, this is number two for today. Maybe we can get another one. Okay, copy. So, Harry, we're done here. If you just want to go east. Called bingo. Hey, Harry. Yeah, go ahead and clear out to the east. Yeah, just clear out to the east. Uh, we're going to have another location to go to, but the e easiest thing is, yeah, just go ahead and clear out to the east. Make it easy. Sorry, Sunglass Hut. Maybe you'll get your shit back, maybe not. All right, all the new stations are off it now. Was the one earlier good? No, not at all. The one from earlier was in Oklahoma City, and the guy had shot cops, and then he was driving a truck that had, he was towing a boat behind it, like a speedboat thing, um, I don't have and any then yet, but they're getting it for us, but I figured that you he tried to drive to an Air Force base, and he got to the gate, and then he got out, and it was, it took like two seconds. When, when we turned it on, it only lasted for like a minute. Stealing sunglasses, man. Yeah. You're right. This was one of the better chases that we've had in a minute. Um, I don't know. I may have gotten a couple of things I could use for TikTok. I need stuff, man. I'm fucking running out. And I don't really want to go. Like, I make those longer videos about chases, and I tried to make one recently, but it was too long. Like, some of the best chases, you just can't sum them up in two minutes. So it's like, fuck. One of the officers died in that one earlier today? Damn, really? Favorite part of that chase? I don't know. I guess the part where he was, where he got, he was too impatient to stop. So he's busting through lanes I and hitting cars. I like some of the stuff on the on the freeway when he was swerving too. He did, he made some crazy moves. Jack says, "Fine job on the." Damn. 
Gina, that's crazy. He took off, right. Yeah, I get it. Took off in a... He just had his boat attached. Couldn't do anything about that. That's crazy. All right. Well, stream number three for me today. It is insane how big LA is. Clear Joker, it's so true. How did he wind up at a military base? So, like, he was just driving on the highway, and then he pulled off where the base was. And, like, there was a gate with all these guards and stuff, so he wasn't going to get in. He just pulled up to the gate and got out of the vehicle. And they came over and arrested him right away. It wasn't even entertaining. All right. Have a good night, everybody. If I go live again, it's because there's another police chase. And that's very possible. Have a good night. Hopefully, I'll see you later.